Hi guys, welcome back to the Looming Station. Um, today I'm here with part two of this Alpha Loom Make Wider Creations video. And it's still a little bit fuzzy, like the other one, but I think it's better. So, um, I have finished the seven, first seven rows of my design. I did the stars and five stripes, uh, seven stripes. <laughs> um, so now this is not nearly wide enough for a mural. So now, what we're going to do, we have all these loose clear bands on the side so the first thing we're going to do is take our graph and look at it and so we've done this we made this one that's what is here so now we're ready to make this one so I did graph this wrong I'm starting with a white stripe but that doesn't really matter um, so just don't let that confuse you we're going to look at it like this. This is going to be our first row, our second, third, fourth, up like that. I forgot to mention that in the first video, so if you're having trouble with that, uh, I'm sorry, but now I remember to tell you. So, um, so we're going to start in this row and then move up like this. So, you look at your graph, and you're going to um, start with your first row all in twisting the bands across the pegs and you're going to lay your entire first row up twisting just like this so now you're going to get your first one that you made and you're going to go in here and find the first clear band the loose one and you're going to stretch it all the way down all right, just like this. And if you sincerely want to make yours 21, uh, yes, 21 rows, you can place another loose band here and then repeat this with the other third one, but I mean, that's not really needed. And then you can just push this down. So now your other side is connected. And then you can just, looking at your graph, lay your next row. And then, um, using whatever tool you would like, you can grab this clear band and loop it over all the bands. And then you can use the comb or the hook to grab all these bottom bands on each side and loop them over. And then using whatever tool you would like, you can push down the bands and repeat this again. So you're going to find the next loose clear band and pull it there and then lay your next row. So after you've done that, just pick up this clear band and take it over and then using the hook or the comb I like to use my hook I just think the comb makes more accidents with dropping bands and um, you have to go kind of slowly and I think I can go pretty much just as fast with my hook but you're just looping over all the bottom bands on each side so basically, you're just going to repeat this process until you've um, uh, done all the bands that you graphed, or you can know when you've used up all these loose clear bands. But you're just going to find the next one. Make sure it is the next one, because that's very important. Place it on. Place your next roll. So, um, then you're just going to, again, loop over this clear band, and loop over all the bottom bands on each side of the loop. And 
and then we repeat this process again find the next loose band and I'm going to try to put it on the other side I think it'll work better and make sure we push down the bands so we have room to lay our next row which is what we do next so lay your next row and then yes this is actually the side you're supposed to put it on uh, sorry about the background noise um, so do put it on this side please <laughs> looks better that way loop over that clear band and then you just can loop over all the bottom bands on both sides of your loop so and then you would take your comb and push the bands down and then you find the next loose band and you put it on this side and then you lay your next row and after you've done that you can use your hook to pull over this clear and then you just go in and you loop the, the bottom bands on each side of your alpha loom just like so and then using your comb push down the bands and you're going to repeat the process until you've used up all these clear bands and this side is as long as this side so I'll go over with it well go over it with you <laughs> one more time so you find the next loose clear band make sure it is the next one not skipping one because that is, um, is very important to do if you skip one it won't come out right there'll be a big jumble in the place where you skipped one so you put, pull that on and push it down lay your next row A tip for doing this is um, just stretch the bands and then put them over the peg like this. Stretch and lay it on. And you're just going to lay out this entire row. As said to do on your graph. And then go in with your hook and flip over this clear band and then using your hook or your comb whichever you prefer sorry about the background noise um, you're going to flip over the bottom bands on all of the pegs just like I'm doing here and then you'll go to the other side and do the same. Make sure to only get the bottom bed. And then you repeat again until you have it as long as this and you've used up all these loose clear bands. So Thank you for watching this part 2 of this tutorial. If you haven't seen part 1, make sure to go watch that. Um, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And also, thank you for watching, which I already said before. Bye. Take care.